My name is Ram Aguko and of course this is a Woman Crush Wednesday on this fine Wednesday morning the 6th of July 2022. Uh, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website and that is a www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. It is a pleasure if you are just joining us. You are just in time for the next conversation of today and this is a strength of a woman. Let's talk about how women are do what women are doing to break that glass ceiling and how they're standing out in this era and this age and time. And of course, to help us in this conversation, I'm with a very interesting person at joining us today. This is none other than Christine Musoli. Now, Christine is the CEO of Kapu Africa. Joining us today, Karibu Sana Christine. Thank you very much. How, how are you feeling today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your presence. Thank you. And of course, I also invite you all to join us in this particular conversation from wherever you are. The hashtag, as always, is why in the morning. Tag me at Ram Aguko and the official station handle, which is at Y254. My colleague at, at, at uh, Valentine Wamboy. And of course, uh, let's kick start this conversation. And of course, uh, um, let me start with uh, of, uh, um, uh, uh, Kapu Africa. Mm -hmm. What is Kapo Africa all about, Christine? And uh, even as you tell us more about that, tell us a bit more about what you do. Okay. Yeah. So Kapo Africa is an NGO here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's a registered NGO. And our mission is to alleviate hunger and malnutrition. Okay. And malnutrition being a very big issue in this country. Mm -hmm. We say statistics show that over 25%, around 25% of Young children are affected by malnutrition mm -hmm. and stunting. So us as an organization, to be, we want to be able to come in and partner with other organizations to see how we can alleviate malnutrition but also hunger in many parts of this country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so, so your target is, is, is um, mostly the drought-prone areas? Our target is the drought-prone areas, but mm. on top of that, we target, in terms of malnutrition, mm. We target areas that are impoverished. So mm. we even work in Nairobi, we work in areas in Kibera, in Madare. Okay, okay. Because, mm -hmm. And we partner as an organization, what we do, we partner with other organizations. So we partner with a school in the informal settlements, mm. in informal settlements of Kenya. Mm. And then we see how those children can be able to get nutritious food. Mm. Because other than just hunger, in some informal settlements, mm. um, when the children go to school, there's a reason why those, some of those schools were started because sometimes that is the only meal they mm. get that day. So mm -hmm. it's an enticement for them to come to school because they're able to get food. All right, and all right, um, all right, all right. when they get food, mm. they stay in school. Mm. We say without good nutrition, children are not able to learn well. So be, in terms of, there's something called stunting. Stunting means it affects your physical development, so a child is much smaller than they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But it also, before even you see the physical development, it affects their brain development. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's so yeah. sad because sometimes um, some children, you know, it's not because they're not smart. You know, we talk about in places like the lake areas, mm. you know, where they have fish, you know, they eat fish. Fish is very good yeah. for the brain, omega-3 and all that. Mm -hmm. And so when children don't have good nutrition, it's not because they're not smart, it's because they reach a ceiling. It's the just brain, the food. Yes, it's just mm. the food. The brain mm. does not get the nutrition it needs and the body does not get the nutrition it needs. Mm -hmm. Then it affects, the, it affects the brain development. Mm -hmm. So then the child doesn't perform well in school. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes. And, 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 and it's sad that at, at this age and time, um, would you say that we ought to have crossed the border? We ought to have done away with some of these challenges that you're facing in terms of uh, uh, malnutrition in the country? It would be wonderful if we had. But we say we haven't gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. And so us as an NGO, then we are saying, what can we do to help out? So we help haven't out. gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. It would be wonderful if we have. Mm -hmm. Us being a lower middle income country, mm -hmm. um, it would be wonderful if we have. But nutrition, even education about nutrition is very important. Mm -hmm. People to realize the importance of good food, mm -hmm. healthy, nutritious food, protein, um, you know, iron, you know, vitamin A, yeah, vitamin yeah, D, yeah, all yeah. those mm -hmm. things that are important. So. Mm -hmm. It's if we, if we should have gotten there, but there's a, lo there's a long way to go. But there are many organizations that are trying to see what they can do to help. Now, now what, what inspired you to be at the forefront at uh, this kind of a job from the beginning? 
So what inspired me is first just the encouragement that women can do it. Mm. Men can do it and women can do it. You know, when we say we can do it, not we also, we also want the boy child to do well, but also the girl child to do well. Mm. And just then confidence that I can do it. The men can do it too, but I can do it too. And seeing how actually what motivated me the most is because I care. You know, uh, you see the need that's out there. The need is great. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're asked to step up and you're told, can you do it? Can we as an organization be able to do start something in Kenya yeah. with our partners mm -hmm. to be able to help the needy in Kenya, those who need it the most in terms mm -hmm. of food and malnutrition, alleviating hunger, and then just to say, you know what, I can do it. Um, I've been given the skills that are needed to be able to work in the position that I am in. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we say w women sometimes they have this thing where they, when men, a position is available, mm -hmm. the men are more confident to go and the women say, can I really do it? Yeah, but, you yeah, know, just yeah. as a child, I was raised up to be told, you can do it. The men can do it, but you can do it too. The boys can do it, mm -hmm. but you're able to. And, 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 and I'm glad that uh, you can say you can do it because you are, you, you, you are raised to, you know, be a go-getter. Yes. Uh, you have a master's from... Uh, uh, Texas? Yes, I have a master's mm -hmm. um, from University of Texas at mm -hmm. Arlington. Mm -hmm. So my master's actually was in biology and I studied viruses. Uh, and is it real, real virus? Real virus, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. I studied viruses, did, did stuff on microbiology. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, when I came back here, came back to Kenya, mm -hmm. I think for me, education, and I think for many people, education is about getting the skills. Then you're able to apply them in different ways. You know, mm. so um, getting the skills and then education is about then you're able to apply them. And yeah. I was able to apply that. And even the work that we do, you know, it, it deals a lot with nutrition and the sciences. Mm -hmm. So um, so you're able to balance between the knowledge acquired yes. over time and, yes. and, 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 and brought it to, to Kapu. Yes. Now, the name Kapu sounds, uh, I was looking at your logo. Mm -hmm. Is it a, connected to a basket? Yes. So Kikapu is a small basket. So Kapu okay. yeah. is a big basket. Okay. So oh. our vision is to be the big basket of Africa. Of course, we start with Kenya. <laughs> Kenya being the, the um, chosen country, but we say mm -hmm. we, it's a big basket. Our vision is to be the big basket of Africa. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. we do as an organization is we, do, um, we have two arms of how we do things. One of the ways we do things is we go to companies, we go to manufacturers, we go okay. to producers, mm. and we ask them, can they give us things to help the people in need? Can they give us food? I'll tell you a story, when, and a real story, mm -hmm. but sometimes when things are about to expire, mm -hmm. manufacturers, things are about to expire, and maybe a supermarket says we cannot take them. Not a, I'm not saying it to expire the next day, but I'm saying maybe it has six months to expire. It's mm. still good food, mm. edible food and allowed by the government to be used. But maybe the um, supermarket will say we want something in the store for a longer time. We as an organization, we go and say, give can you give us. us give it to us so we can help those in need? Registered organizations, we work with registered organizations. Mm -hmm, we go mm -hmm. on the ground to check and see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so we, can, we say, please do not waste it. Sometimes companies, manufacturers, they incinerate products mm. just because, you know, they'll be like, well, uh, maybe we have too much product. And so they incinerate, meaning they burn it up, you know, in a, you know, incineration. Yeah, 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 so yeah, us yeah. as an organization, even to say, let's say they have short expiry, something short expiry that is still good for human consumption and allowed by the government. And we say, please do not dispose of it. We'll come and get it at no cost to the donor. But on top of that, we tell the manufacturer, you're come see where it's going, mm. you know, so they are able to, but at no cost to them that we say, let there be no waste as a country. But, but mostly the they, they incineration is, 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 is very common. They, they, they do, it happens, they, they it happens. This, no, yes, it dump. happens. It happens. It happens, yes. And, and, and how do you manage to convince them, you know, uh, so, so that the, it, it doesn't appear to be like yet another business venture? Mm -hmm. Because someone may say, you know what, um, how can you trust? that uh, it will reach uh, the target that you are talking about, you know, um, because yes, money has been spent. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is something that has been acquired through a particular uh, uh, pr procurement procedure. So first of all, there are terms of donation mm -hmm. that are signed, but on top of that, the company, it's, it's an open door policy proceed, mm. so that they're able to come see where the food is going. We don't, us as an organization, when we work with a donor, 
Yeah. We tell them they are, it's very open for them to see where the, where the food is going. Come see, not, not the, you give it to us, then we say, okay, bye. Mm -hmm. They are welcome to come see at any time. And you move, you, move, you move around with them. Yes, yes, we move around with them. But also on top of that, there are terms of donation that are signed even with the donor recipient that says the food cannot be sold, the food cannot be traded, it cannot be battered, you know, that the food will be used the right way. So we as an organization, we investigate even how the food is being used, but we also invite the company to investigate how the food is. It's very a very open door policy, mm -hmm. so there are no secrets, no hidden things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, and so far, how is the um, reception on the ground? I know you've managed to reach out to uh, the needy. Mm -hmm. I know those who are suffering in one way or the other. You know, um, t t tell us the feel on the ground, once you get there, the reception you get, the mood you, 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 you acquire. And of course, it must have some effect on you as a person, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, when you go to a children's home, mm. you know, maybe we're given mishiri or we're given milk by mm. a company, yeah. you know, or tender muscle. When we take the food to a children's home and you have a five-year-old come and tell you, Wow. Ah, it is such a blessing. So, so to me, the best part of my job is actually on the ground. To being able to be there, you, you interact with the people who are in need, and actually to be able for the recipients to be able to get the donations and see the impact. Because a lot of times, you know, it's not just only receiving food. We say as much as we, we, we focus on food, we focus on other things that can be used for their livelihood. So if a company would give us Mabati, we would take it to a children's home mm -hmm. that needs Mabati to, for their shelter. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, just the impact that it has, because, you know, someone would say with food, we gave you food today, the next day you're hungry. You know, someone would say, what's the impact of food? Mm. I gave you food today, you're hungry the next day, right? Yeah. The food, of course, will help your body on that day. But on mm. top of that, the organizations that we partner with are doing great jobs. So if, if the children are receiving an education, and we are able to help an organization get that organization get food. You see, an education will change the child's life. So for because the long at, term. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you are also looking at both short term mm -hmm. and the long term mm -hmm. effect on these uh, uh, children. Yes, wow. yes, wow. Wow. yes. So we're looking at the long term and the, the short term and the long term because education will change a child's life, you know, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, they'll be a productive citizen of this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and what are some of the most touching moments you've had um, while going to the ground? And, and, and of course, this could be either before you do the donation or after or during the do donation process. What are some of those touching moments that you remember that have made you, you know, have that aha moment, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you know, like we've gone to give a donation like in Kilifi area, mm. Kilifi County. And when the residents, we first of all, there was this old, old, old grandmother, you know, yeah, yeah. old nyanya. Mm. And, you know, we, we gave her food and it was in a gunia. It was a tender, a tender masses bale, which we'll talk about later. Mm. We gave her the bale and we're like, how are you going to carry it? She said, where we? Hamujui nilikuwa nanja, nilikuwa nanja, sadi chakula nikipata. Kuibeba hakuna shida nitatafuta njia. You know, just it's so touching. And that's in Kilifi? Yes, in Kilifi County. Wow. That someone receives food and they're like, you don't worry. We are happy we got food. And how <laughs> we'll be able to carry it, you don't worry. We'll be able to carry it. But just the difference that it makes, you know. We've had comments where people have said, hii chakule ili saidia mwili because of good nutrition. Mm. How mm. someone can say, chakule ili msaidia mwili sana. You know, so um, just to talk about this, our food... There's a company mm. called Soyafric Limited yeah. that makes Unimix porridge and many other mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. So Soyafric um, also helps us. We, we partner with them, actually even as part of the CSR, yeah. to be able to make some food called Tender Mercies. Mm. What, is, what is Tender Mercies all about? So, so Tender Mercies, I have something here, yeah. a packet. Right. Mm. So Tender Mercies is a prepackaged food. Because mm. as much as sometimes we ask for maize, we ask for beans, and we have to source for that, mm. it's a prepackaged food. Let me, let me see that. Let me see. So, all right. I'm seeing distributed by Capo Africa. Yes. Uh, tender mercies. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I, 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 is it something that's already cooked, or um, how, how is it in terms of the food? So tender mercies, when we were working with, you know, for things called disaster relief. Disaster relief is when you go and there's drought, there's hunger. Mm. 
Mm. We wanted a prepackaged food that could just cook. Where you, where you don't go sourcing for maize, then you go source for beans. So it has rice. It's mm. a raw product. It has rice. It mm. has lentils. It mm. has fractured cowpeas. It has vitamins and minerals. And it All has right. salt. Mm. So it's 34% protein per serving. Wow. You can see that. Mm. Mm -hmm. 34% protein per serving. So if when we take this, this is what we take for disaster, for disaster relief. It's also used um, in the children's homes. Mm. So when we, it's, it's a prepackaged meal that already has all the nutrients because again, our organization doesn't focus only on food, but also malnutrition. So we wanted a product, we formulated a product that was, we packed in as much nutrients as possible. Mm. So that now if we, for this now, this food that I was talking about, um, there's, a, there's a, someone else, a man, an old man who said, hi chakula, imeni saidia sana. Mm. And they said, ni kama dawa, siyo dawa, it's just, but then it's good nutrition. You know how good nutrition really helps yeah, you? Yeah, there's, there's a way it, it, uh, it brings some, some relief yes. in, in somebody to eat this kind of food. Absolutely. So like organizations like Symbol of Hope, cancer organizations use this a lot too. They, they have used this product and they say it has really helped. In mm -hmm. terms of someone was down, a, a cancer patient was really down. Mm -hmm. And then um, when they had good nutrition, as again I said, just good nutrition, they were able to come back up. Of course, with also the cancer treatments. And, 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 and I'm glad that you've managed also to, to look at the, the governmental procedures. Yeah. This, I'm seeing the cabs mark of uh, quality. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lazima. Mm -hmm. So, so Africa wouldn't make sure, they wouldn't produce a product that is not cabs approved. Mm -hmm. It had to be cabs approved. Mm -hmm. But even the product is used by HIV patients, you know? The product, mm. you know, it really helps. Again, good nutrition. Okay. And if, if a HIV patient is able to feed well, mm. then they're able to, it really helps their, their body on top of the other medication that they take, you know? Mm -hmm. So just mm -hmm. nutrition mm -hmm. along with all those other things that are needed. If it's a, a patient with, all, with their treatment, mm. it helps. But just um, nutrition, or just palliative care, and, but it's very important. So we just talk about how it makes a difference. We had um, during our uh, an event that we had, mm. you know, mm -hmm. to hear a cancer patient who's a cancer patient but also a HIV patient mm. talking about how the food has really helped and they say look at me I'm I, I look healthy I'm strong <laughs> yeah I know that must be very inspiring Christine. yes it must be. So, I'm, I'm seeing you have something else there um, is it still from uh, uh, tender care this this yes this is for or oh, this is a different thing yes yes oh so in, this is in terms of finances huh? yes yeah because doing all these things doesn't come cheaply yes it does not come cheaply so that's why we say that's why we're here at kbc and we're so um thankful that you invited us to come thank you for coming thank you for coming so so uh, you, you receive donations yes i'm looking at uh, sponsorship which has reminded me mm -hmm. you had an event on third of july third of june Th third of june yes third of june and and uh, you were trying to get resources from people. Yes. Tell us a bit more about what that event was all about. So, um, Kapu Africa had a fundraising event to raise funds to purchase this um, food, Kapu, uh, this food tender mercies, mm. because we actually have to purchase the food, even though Soy Africa really helps us a lot in terms of partnership and seeing how in their CSR they can put in as much as possible. Mm. But um, we, we were, we're raising funds to purchase the food. So this food, like this amount of this bag, sorry. That is, uh, this bag feeds mm. six people. This one bag? This one bag feeds six people. And people will be surprised because <laughs> in Afura, it, 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 it swells up, you know? Ah. It swells up with the amount of water that's needed to cook it. It swells up because it uses almost 1.9 liters of water to cook. In, 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 initially, I thought you had said mm -hmm. <laughs> that it was already cooked and it's packaged there. So oh. someone... <laughs> no, no, it's raw. So it's, it's, it's raw food. It's raw. So once you start cooking, there's a way it, it, it can feed yes, six people. six people. So six. if you had 10 of those... Yes, wow. yes. So then we say, we, we just, we, we, we did on, on the 3rd of June, we did a fundraiser, but actually uh -huh. the fundraising is just con continuing, you mm -hmm. know, to raise awareness that even as we reach out to our people, you know, we say, um, let our people, we want our people to participate in it, mm -hmm. in reaching out to our people. The need is great. Yeah. And we say, um, they can donate to us. Mm -hmm. We ask that they can donate to us. But our, the wonderful thing about our organization, other than just donating, you know, some organizations you donate and then, eh, car candle, uh, yeah, as we yeah. say, Donate, but also come and see where the food is going. Mm. Yes, mm. we say come and see where the food but is how going. How was the reception on, on, the, on that day, the turnout and, and, and the number of people that, that, that came up? Was it as expected in your end? 
it it we wanted it to be more <laughs> i can say we wanted it to be more but mm. it was it was a good amount it mm. was a good amount uh, we, we we had a fundraiser for about 100 and maybe 80 people 70 people showed right. up right. but we say we want to raise awareness because mm. as much as we are an organization sometimes you have to ask people say who are you again you mm. know so when we come here we say um this is who we are this is what we do and, and we say we mm -hmm. ask we're asking for support support and, and of course guys check them out Kapo africa um are, are you found online and on, on social media yes so that we people know who and uh, Kapo africa is all about because they have something called operation jaza Kapo fundraising dinner yes huh? that yes. Uh, took place on third of june yes so how can people find you and locate you on social media online so, so on social media our, our sponsor organization, mm. the, the, the people that really help us are Midwest Food Bank. There's an organization in the U.S. that helps us. Yeah. So if on the website, it would be www.kapuafrica.midwestfoodbank.org. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They'll post it on, the, on, the, so on social media. Mm -hmm. But also, we can be reached at 0798 One more time. 0798 Five nine, mm -hmm. and if someone is able to send a donation, they can send to the Mpesa pay bill four zero eight nine seven five nine. Touch a soul, man. Touch a soul. Touch a soul. Touch somebody's heart. You know, because people are dying of hunger here. Say that pay bill again. The pay bill number is four zero eight nine seven five nine. One more time. Four zero. Eight nine seven five nine four zero eight nine seven five nine. And of course, uh, the account number is uh, your name. Yes, Kapu. Yes, the account number oh. is our. For, it's Kapu Africa. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. And of course, um, uh, this th this is a good thing. I love the fact that uh, you came up with this and uh, you managed to uh, do something so far. But now, Christine, let me get it from you. What are some of the challenges you faced in this? Uh, project ever since you you, you 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 know you started venturing in this particular area with Capo Africa and going out to the needy you know touching lives there some of the challenges you, you, you faced even on the ground um, one of the challenges we faced is that people don't know who we are so then maybe when you go and you try to, try to tell who you are and you're asking for donations mm. part of the challenge as Kenyans is that resources sometimes people don't use resources well you know, mm. where these people are given a donation. We had a story of a donor who, at first, when you went to the donor, they received a donation. Mm. Some, they, they would give a donation. And some, a man was, said he was helping a children's home. And at the corner, they found him selling what they had given him. And just at the corner of the street, they found what? him selling what they had given them. So those are the challenges we face. And that is why we say for <laughs> us, <laughs> it's challenging. But Kenyans. Yes. So, so, I, so you went... Gave the donation to person X. No, not us. Ah. Not us. We, our donor was telling us a story. Not us. Or not a, you. Yes. So oh, our donor, donor. Okay, was telling okay. a story. So they said, why, sh why should we trust you? And we, we built a relationship with them. Uh -huh. Since 2015, they have been donating to us. Since 2015. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, but then at first, you know, they didn't know who we are. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're trying to introduce yourself, they're like, huh? How can I trust you? But the good thing we say, it's an open door thing. Come and see where it goes. You know, come and see, not even when we go with you, you can even, even after we've given, mm. you can go back and see where did they go and take the food. Mm. It's very open. Mm. And even with the do people we donate to, it's a very strict um, way that it's done with terms of donation. If, if an organization w would be found that th they were selling something, the, an organization, maybe a children's home that we partner with, we would cut the relationship oh, off. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. very strict. And mm -hmm. since 2015, we have not had an incident of um, anybody saying that, you, or, or even a report, or even even when we investigate, n n the food has not been sold. Oh, so you, you, you're saying that we have such kind of possibilities where you uh, so you can receive something from a donor only for the donor to come and find that you know the person who has received these things is now selling. Yes, for yeah, other organizations, for other organizations, but not, not for us. Not, 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 not Kapu. You think that's yes. a challenge because people need to know more about what you do. Yes. So once you've created that awareness and people know about you, mm -hmm. you know that perception and and. and and suspicion is, is, is eradicated. Yes, yes. All right, all right. So it's not a closed door policy. When it's open, it's mm -hmm, very good. Mm -hmm. And then just challenges of, um, yeah, awareness. Who are you? You mm -hmm. know, that's why we're here, just saying, who are you? What do you do? Ne right. Never heard of you. So then when they know about us and they've seen us, you know, mm -hmm. we would love to engage more with them. But we say, just as an organization, even saying us as Kenyans, being able to help our people. Yeah. You know, not waiting for... 
um, the people in the West to be able to help. There's, there, there are resources here. That's the amazing thing. There are resources here. Mm -hmm. It's just that we hope the resources can be channeled in the right way. But mm -hmm. there are resources here to help. And we say, please don't destroy your product. You know the challenges of, please don't destroy your product. Let's have a conversation. Find out more about what we do. Can mm -hmm. we come and meet mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. If it's a manufacturer, an exporter, a donor, you know, c c can we be able, but we need support, so can we be able to engage and see how we can help our mm -hmm. people? Well, a any upcoming projects that people need to look out for, for uh, from Capo? Right now, we just have the fundraiser. We, yeah. will, we, we will update um, KBC when we, we have the next. So since we just had it last month, but the fundraising for this is yeah. ongoing. Oh, it's in terms ongoing. Of the yes, it's oh, it, ongoing. It, has, it, 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 it did not end on third. No, it did not end on third. It still third. continues. It still continues right. because right. the need is great. The children's homes are still there, you know. The, so the, the need is still there and the need mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. Right now, you hear there's drought in Kenya. There's drought in some parts. Some parts, some parts it's raining, but some parts, you know, you, you hear where they'll say maybe we haven't had rain in, maybe they have rain once or twice a year, you know, mm -hmm. as, as much as there are parts that are green in Kenya, there are parts where you'll hear someone in Kitui will say, you know, maybe it rained twice uh, that year. Mm -hmm. you have, I, have, have you ever been discriminated in terms of gender? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Because you interact with people. Mm -hmm. you, you, you meet we, uh, people, you, you, you know, you try to pitch in your idea. Mm -hmm. And of course, there must be s those instances where there have been some form of biasness and discrimination towards um, you or couple. I have. I mm. have experienced Tell it. Us a bit, uh, are you able to share a bit more about that? Yeah, and maybe it's not outright. Let me put it that way. Sometimes yeah. it's not outright. Someone will just feel maybe that, why is a woman doing this, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe someone may feel this is a man's job yeah. or the challenges you may face where maybe you see there's more pushback mm -hmm. if, it, if it's in a project or something, but you just push on. So, push on. yeah, so sometimes they say discrimination may not be outright. You know, sometimes it's more covert. It's, it's yeah, no one comes. Yeah. Yeah. Just like they say tribalism, it may not be outright, <laughs> but it just somehow... There's it's, a way it, 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 it's peeping. Yes, it's, but then you just, you, just, you just continue to push on and be confident. And wow, wow. yeah, sometimes maybe... The, yeah, just you, you push on. <laughs> I, love, I, I love what you're doing, Christine. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes. And I would like to give you time to have a final word and talk to Kenyans who are watching you today. What was your parting shot? And uh, you can look at that camera there mm -hmm. as we finish this conversation and uh, wrap it up with a very nice knot and a cherry at the, t uh, at the top. Okay. <laughs> I say we can make a difference. You can make a difference, no matter how small it is. Whether you have no money, someone can come and volunteer with us. Come and see, come and be a part of it with no money. We still need volunteers to be able to come as we go to these organizations. So we say come. But for those who are able to, I'm talking to manufacturers, producers, exporters. We say, please be able to help us. Please support us. We, would re we really need your help. We would love to engage with you. Again, I said our number is 798 Zero seven nine eight six eight nine nine five nine. Our Mpesa bill is four zero eight nine seven five nine four zero eight nine seven five nine. Engage with us, but let's make a difference in our society. And the beauty about us, if someone gives a donation, we don't tell them now move away. You don't need to know what happened to it. We say come, come be a part of it. Like for companies, manufacturers, producers, CSR. For companies, you know, for even, you know, you know, they can come with us. Be, let the employees be a part of it. You know, create a program where the employees can be a part of the CSR as we go out to the children's home. You see where the company, the money that was given, what the difference is being, that's being made. So we say, let's see how we can engage and please support us. Support is what we need and we can do it together. Yes, I understand. Thank you. That is Christine, uh, uh, Christine Mutsoli. CEO of Capo Africa. Christine, thank you so much for coming. Thank and you. Keep doing what you're doing. And, and I know at the end of the day, their lives being changed and people will remember the, 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 the mark that you've left in their lives. Thank you. Mm. Keep thank doing you what you're doing. Much. God bless you so much. Thank you. And, and of course, it, it's a good thing, you know, it's, it, it's all about being human. <laughs> being, being human, caring and uh, loving somebody, loving your neighbor just as you love yourself. And of course, it has been the strength of a woman conversation right on why in the morning powerful woman there are you inspired are you touched what are you doing as a woman 
to bring change to the society and to change this world, to break that glass ceiling and to leave a mark. What is your strength? My name is Ram Maguko. It has been a pleasure being with you. We've, that brings us to the end of this conversation. But remember, we still have more coming up your way right on Y in the morning.